What's up you guys, Zeddy at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you seven of the best new iPhone games that come out this month. As always, I'll have links in the description if you want to download any of these. Got a cool one here called Galac Z. Now this game is free for download. It's pretty weird. Um, you know, you're in kind of like outer space, I guess you could say. And there's a lot of action in it, and it's just a really cool game. So I hope you enjoy some of the gameplay on it. We'll get into it, but you're going to be, uh, you know, killing enemies with a couple different attack abilities. Uh, you know, you've got like a really cool sword attack, and then you're going to be able to unlock some different attacks as you go through this game. Uh, you know, like I said, the game is really cool. You've got some really cool uh, action in this with, you know, enemies exploding. You're going to have boss battles, and there's a ton of levels to play in this game as well. So, anyways, if you're into, you know, kind of like a sci-fi, you know, um, I guess space flying, uh, you know, attack game, you know, Galag Z is definitely going to be that. All right, so anyways, we're going to hop down here. Kind of just busting through these barriers right now. And uh, we're going to take out a couple more guys down here. Oh yeah, get that explosion in right there. Alright, so each time you finish a level, you're going to teleport out, which is pretty cool. So check this out. We're about to go in this little triangle. And, uh, you know, we're going to hop out of this level. Um, that is literally just level one on this game, guys. So, I mean, uh, you know, like I said, it's really cool. It is a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie, but I am really digging this game. All right, the next one we've got here is going to be Battle Heart 2. Uh, you know, other than the one I just showed you, um, this game is really fun. I think this might be one of my top favorite games to come out this month. It's an RPG-style action game. Uh, you're going to pretty much have, uh, you know, different characters you can unlock. You've got upgrades. There's 12 characters in total you can actually unlock. There's also a multiplayer to this game. I'm just going to get into some of the uh, first battle for everybody, but it's pretty freaking sweet. Um, and, you know, it's got a lot of really cool looking enemies in this game as well. So, all right, let's uh, let's kill some dudes right here. All right, but anyways, you know, we got the, a goblin coming at us right here. Uh, but you can maneuver all of your characters to, you know, attack anybody coming through, which is pretty sweet, right? And, you know, like I said, this game is just pretty badass. Get that volume turned up. Taking out those goblins. Ooh, that was a great attack. So each character's got their own little special attack you can use. You're kind of seeing me just highlight some of them right now and take out some of these dudes. Alright, so we got like four more waves of, uh, you know, basically bad guys coming at us. Alright, we got one more wave after this. Um, I also forgot to mention that this game is actually going to be a paid game, so you're going to have to, you know, throw up some money for it. But, you know, I definitely think it's worth checking out. It's a few bucks at most. I think it was like either $3.99 or $4.99, something like that. But it's a pretty sweet game. Alright, very nice. Just got a little victory for everybody right there. Uh, you know, very, very nice. All right, so the next game I've got is Dead Island. So we just did some gameplay on this one. This is, uh, you know, definitely a really cool zombie-based game to come out. It's been a while since we've seen something pretty sweet, and this one is very sweet. So it's got a strategy aspect to it. It's also a bit of a builder where you're, like, building up your base, um, and, you know, you're going to have, you know, character, weapon upgrades, all that cool stuff. But... Uh, this game's currently free for download. It is racking up a lot of downloads as well. And, um, you know, we'll get into a, a little battle right here just so you can kind of see me take down some of these zombies. This is him. Let 
Let's bring down the house. All right, so they're gonna be popping out of this little uh, <clears throat> this little area right here. I'm pretty sure. Oh man, check out those turrets just tearing these zombies apart. Ouch. Ooh, alright, I'm gonna have to step back for a minute here. Didn't realize there uh, were exploding zombies going on. Alright, this should be the last one. Alright, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the gameplay on Dead Island. As you can see, the game is pretty freaking sweet. I mean, you've got some really cool zombie killing in this one. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely loving it. Alright, Hiroki is going to be the next game we've got here. Now, this is a flying platformer. It's pretty cool. It's a beautiful looking game. The main character definitely looks a little bit weird. I don't even know what you want to call him. But, um, you know, the game is fun. And if you're into platformers... You know, I like this one. It's level-based. We'll kick uh, things off here with... Let's see where I'm at here on... Uh, I think maybe I made it to, like, level 3 or 4, something like that. All right, let's check this out. I'm just going to get into some of level 1, make it a little bit easy for myself here. But you can just really see this game looks awesome. It plays great, and it's just a really fun platformer. <clears throat> All right, so here is our main dude, Hiroki. All right, so he's got a couple different attack abilities. He can pick things up, and then he can kind of just fly his, uh, you know, helicopter head at you, but you can kind of see you can just throw things. So, I mean, the attack abilities in this game are really good, but, you know, uh, visuals on this game, it's definitely a really nice-looking game. Alright, so that is some of level one for everybody. Check Hiroki out. It is a sweet game, like I said. Alright, the next one we've got here is going to be Call of Mini Beyond Infinity. Now, this is a multiplayer, third-person shooter. Really cool. Uh, we'll see if we can connect into a game real quick on here. I'm sure we can, because this game is very popular. Um, you know, it's like a kind of like a team-based deathmatch kind of game. It's really fun, and uh, the matches, I think, are pretty long. They're, I think, upwards of, like... I want to say somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes, so something like that. Alright, let's get into a battle here. Alright, cool. Looks like they just threw us in a game. Alright, let's do this. Oh man, we got wasted right there. Alright, so they're gonna redeploy me. 
Wow, that was pretty sick. All right, anyways, the game's called Call of Mini Beyond Infinity. I'm getting my butt kicked, but the game is really fun. It's a multiplayer-based shooter. Free for download. Check that one out. All right, so the next one we've got here is Fury Streets. This is like an arcade-style beat-em-up game. Um, I really did enjoy this game when I first played it, you know, like a week or so ago. And I definitely think it's worth a download. There's two different characters you can choose from. They're both really good, so I mean, you can't go wrong with either one of them, but... You know, it's pretty much just a straight, you know, beat em up style uh, game. It looks really good. Uh, you know, it's pretty, uh, you know, pretty intense when you're beating up some of these street thugs, which is pretty sweet. And I believe this game costs like 99 cents or something like that, so it is going as a paid game. But I think it's well worth it, you know what I'm saying? If you're into this, uh, you know, genre of games, I think this one's definitely a, a nice one to add to your, uh, you know, your list. Um, plus, it's a fun game to pick up and play when you've got some, like, free time. Man, taking these thugs out. Alright, cool. So I'm going to get on to my final game here, which is going to be Dark Wave. Now, this is a pretty sweet game. It's uh, got a little bit of a puzzle aspect to it. It's got some really, you know, crazy vibes going on with it. I'm going to head back over to level 2. <clears throat> Before I get back into level three here, so let me uh, kick things off with level two just to show you how the game plays. But it's fun. It's uh, you know pretty psychedelic, I guess you could say. Man, that was sick. All right, let's give it one more run. Wow, that's pathetic. All right, anyways, I've got my butt kicked twice on here, which is ridiculous, but this game's really fun. I've only made it to level three so far, and I can't even beat level two again, which is pretty sad. All right, anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed this list. I'll have links in the description. If you'd also hit the like and share button on this video, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you all.